welcome back um today's a bit of a different video i'm gonna try and make those pinterest tiktok diy bendy candles i've seen them like obviously seen them all over pinterest and stuff and i thought yeah they're cool people were selling them for like 25 pound a candle obviously i wanted to buy them but i was like i'm not paying 25 pound for a candle and then obviously the tiktok trend started of showing people how to make them and i was like oh my god i need to do it but i didn't know where to even buy the candles from and then i saw um alice hope m on instagram and youtube love her i saw her make a youtube video on them and that's kind of like what um inspired me to actually make them because before i was just kind of like oh yeah they're cool blah blah, blah but i can't be asked making them but when i saw her video i was like yeah i'm gonna do it because she like shown the website where she ordered them from. So I will link her video down below, like all credits to her because um, I wouldn't be making this video if I hadn't seen hers. I'm in my room at the minute, obviously, but I'm gonna go downstairs in the kitchen and try and do them. So these are the candles that I got from Floristo. I got six and they came to about £10 or something like that, including shipping. So it's so good. I got like pastel colours, um, just a plain one, pink ones, blue, sage, and like a neutral one. I thought they would go well in my room at the minute. And then also um, I do want to redecorate my room beginning of next year. So they'll go well with that as well. Um, but literally they had so many colours on there. It's so good. And they were so cheap as well. I don't have a clue about like sizing or like length or anything. Um, I think these are like the long ones, but you can get like short ones, tapered ones. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm actually really excited, but I'm a bit scared. I don't want to ruin them. So I'll show you a few um, inspo pictures on here. Let's use the cracked screen. But um, I really like this type of one. I want to do one of those. One of those ones too. Um, one of them ones. There's some more. I really like this type one and then here's some more as well. I also really want to try and do one of these twisty ones, um, but I think you need like a rolling pin or something to do it. So we'll see when we get to those. So, oh, I really like that one. This is a type of idea that I'm going for, but whether they get executed or not is a different story. I hope so. I've got some water in the sink, but I think I need to add a little bit more. It's been in there for quite a while, so it's not that warm anymore. I'm gonna to top it up a little bit with some water from the kettle that's like not fully boiled and then leave them to soak for like 10, 15 minutes, I think. Well, I'm going to try it with one of them first um, and see how it goes, like how long I need to leave it and stuff because I don't want to risk ruining them all. So I'm going to try it with one first. Yes, this is the least pretty coloured one, so I'm not that bothered if this one does go wrong. This is like my trial run. So this is the first one. Um, I've just put it in like a bucket of cold water because apparently you meant to put them in cold water afterwards, like keep the shape. I think I was like a bit too eager with this one because it has got a few cracks in it. But oh, it does work. I just need to be a bit more gentle and wait a little bit longer um, and go like slower rather than just try to bend it straight away. So um, I think I got a little bit too excited with the first one because it started to like snap and crack a little bit. So um, it's still fine, like it's still in one piece, but it's just got a few cracks in so it doesn't really look the cutest. Um, the rest are in the sink now. They've only been in for like a minute or so. I think I'm gonna leave them for like 10 minutes. Um, the water is like not hot, like not boiling hot, but it's like warm, like it's not cold. It's not uncomfortable warm. So I'm gonna leave them for a little bit and come back when I'm starting to bend them. I think they're soft enough to start bending. So I'm gonna try and do this one here on the sage green candle because I think it looks the easiest to do. Um, I'm really hoping it doesn't go bad, like it doesn't break because I will cry. So, um, I saw that you're supposed to bend them in the water because it apparently makes them easier to bend. I'm just going to start trying to push them a little bit. So I need to go like up. Oh, okay, it's actually working. I need to go up that way and then I need to go back down. But, oh, um, I don't know. Oh my god, look, it's actually working. Even though I've watched so many people's videos of them doing it, I thought mine would go wrong. And no cracks. Yeah, fingers crossed, I'm not going to jinx it. Then I need to go back down here. Okay, it's definitely easier when you keep it in the water. <gasps> look, 
Okay, I've also, oh shit, maybe not. It's the proportions are a bit off. Okay, so it's a lot of going back and forth to figure out how it's actually gonna sit. This blue one, I think I'm gonna do like one of the twisty in a loop ones. Then for this pink one, I've already started doing it because I was trying to film a TikTok. Um, I'm going to bend it so it's kind of like sat on itself. For my days, somebody get me a home decor business because this is not normal. Not to toot my own horn, but I think I've found my talent. She's cute. She's real cute. I do sincerely apologise for all of the shit angles in this video but um, I'm home alone so there's not anybody to like hold it for me. I'm just trying to do one of the twisty ones. So you just have to like flatten it. Oh my god, this is making me out of breath. I don't go to the gym so I have literally no arm strength. You just have to flatten it with a rolling pin or like, I don't know, a tin of beans or whatever you have. I don't know how much I meant to flatten it. And then you just twist, supposedly. This one's been sat in the water for the longest, so hopefully it should work. Is that, do I need to flatten both sides or just the one? Oh no, I think it's gonna crack. Ew, this is giving me like very strange vibes. Like, why are my fists like that? She's kind of ugly, but um, I mean, it just adds character. She's also very wonky. Um, but you know, we love her for it anyways. So this is them all in the cold water, just, you know, soaking. Some are a little bit better than others. Um, but overall, it was kind of a success. I think I found my calling. Um, people are gonna be getting these for birthdays, Christmas, all of the above, because they're hella cute. I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to leave them in the cold water for. So I'll probably leave them for like 10 minutes because I've already been in quite a while. Okay, so I've put them back on this paper just because they are still a little bit wet. But look, look at them. <gasps> wow, they're cute. I'm actually buzzing, like, who would have thought? Oh my God, the knife. <laughs> So guys, these are the finished candles. Um, obviously this isn't where they're all gonna go. I'm gonna have to figure out where I wanna put them in my room. But this is the ones that were successful. I honestly love them. I think everyone should try this. Like they're so much easier than I expected if you get obviously the temperature and stuff right. But they just look so cute. Like obviously they go with my room at the minute now to be honest, but when I hopefully redecorate my um, room at the beginning of next year, they will just look so nice. And I don't know, they were so cheap to do as well compared to what these people are selling them for. So I've just tried to find a little home for them, but um, this one looks so cute on like these little books, just on my like drawers where my telly is. Um, this I actually DIY'd as well, just with like a marker pen. That one looks really cute on there with the plant. And then we have this um, other one on here, just on top of my jewelry box with the other plants. And then these two, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit stuck where to put these. Um, they're just currently on my main desk at the minute. Uh, I don't know what to do with these ones. Sorry again for probably all the weird angles and stuff in this video. My tripod's broke and I'm home alone, so I didn't have anybody to help me film. So yeah, um, I do apologise, but I hope you still got the gist of the video. I will leave Alice's video um, in the description box as well, because she was the one that inspired me to actually make this video rather than just thinking, yeah, they look cute. Um, so I'll leave a link to her video and I will also leave a link to the website where I bought the candles from as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, let me know if you try them out, like send me some pics or something. If you have any tips for anybody wanting to try um, to like ensure that it actually works and there's no cracks or snaps or anything, then leave a comment as well. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye!